Gleb Donsov is a Russian violinist. He first came to Shenzhen in 1998, and he started serving as a concertmaster of the Shenzhen Symphony Orchestra in 2005. Audiences who have seen his concerts say his music is filled with emotions from the depth of his heart. His performances are not simply about technique, they reflect the violinist's profound musical accomplishments. It's not just enough to let your kids go to study piano. It may not help to raise uh, somebody who can really appreciate music. So we need the educators along with the artists uh, help to uh, explain what's going on on the stage. In 2008, Mr. Donstov quit working with SCSO and started to focus on violin education. Make sure here you have a spring, yeah? A spring, yeah? Otherwise, the sound is going to be too hard. Currently, he has students from all over the city and even all over the country. One of them is Zhang Wei, who performed in collaboration with three other young musicians native to Shenzhen during the 2018 Shenzhen Belt and Road International Music Festival. Then, 19-year-old Zhang presented Tizgane Rhapsody, which was highly well received by the audiences and music critics. It was at his mother Du Qian's violin studio that Zhang was first introduced to the classical music world of Mr. Donstov. Nowadays, more and more mothers wish for their children to succeed in music and send them to Du's studio. All of them have sacrificed a lot for their children's musical education. Six-year-old Wang Moran has learned violin for over one year, and he has shown completely different tastes in music compared with his peers. This movement is limited. If you go too low, you definitely lose this. Right? Mr. Donstov is a little strict in his classes. When his students make a mistake, he will directly point it out. No, no, no. Tom! Hey! Don't sleep. He criticizes in a much louder voice as students make more mistakes. Down, up. Mr. Donstov teaches students at Shenzhen Concert Hall, which will be the main venue of the upcoming Shenzhen Belt and Road International Music Festival. This year is a little bit uh, different and I can see the idea of the organizers of this uh, festival. A lot of some experimental things, uh, more like uh, people uh, like almost everywhere, almost each concert. Yeah, for example, uh, an Italian flutist uh, playing uh, Pizzola and Vivaldi. Yeah, so uh, trying uh, trying to uh, mix like uh, uh, 
uh, beginning of 18th century and the middle of 20th century, yeah. So, and, uh, or like a Brazilian folk music, uh, try, I mean, will be performed by like in a more classical way or something. And it's everywhere. I mean, all, almost all the concerts here is an uh, attempt to mix different things, yeah. Actually, this tendency, I can tell you, it's all around the world now very popular. So, of course, uh, when you uh, go to the concert where you don't really know what's going to happen, of course, uh, it's uh, always uh, a chance that you will really enjoy it.